All right, so it's been a while since I've done an update on my dot files, and uh, we're going to do that today. Well, they're partially mine, I guess. I, I've written enough of it that I guess I could consider it mine. And I've tried to upload them, but uh, let's let's try this again. Let me just try this again real quick. Sign in. Continue. Ah, uh, uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to get it done today, which is really, really nice. Uh, so I'll, I'll end up doing that, but let's go over the changes for right now. The first thing is the brand new start menu. I just have this little issue right here. I just got to move that over a little bit, but this thing was a concept design for windows 12 that I saw. I really, really liked how it went. And as you can see, there are a few minor issues, but, uh, it's fantastic. I don't know why that does that. I got to figure that out. I just noticed that. You're able to take anything you want from here and you're able to pin it over here okay so here's any desk there's desktop cider and everything here has its own you know description so you know what it does which is nice and uh then over here i've added hdr on and off so if i click this button hdr turns on if i click this button again it turns off and it's able to detect when hdr is on versus off which works and this if I click here oh, right there you can see it changes color according to what it does so power saving mode is ice cold and then you got balanced mode which is like a little bit uh you know between the two and then you got performance mode which is green I like that uh up here I've added the ability to have up to 10 workspaces. You can change it to whatever number you want, of course. That's the thing. Again, I will be providing no support when installing this. If you decide to use it, this is completely up to you. Things break from time to time. If it happens, it happens. Uh, but again, it's nothing to do with you or anything else. It's just the way that I work. Let's restart that so we can get the widgets back. I do have a new system monitor widget. It's on my laptop, so I do have to grab that and upload that. Oh, I need to align that, I think. Uh, all in all, the changes I've made are kind of a bit nuts. Like for this, if we change the, uh, where is it? This thing right here. We go in here and we change it to, let's say, Galaxy. We go into Theme. We extract the colors. It takes the colors from here. You're able to click here and you're able to have a theme that is perfectly designed. Well, not perfectly. It's a little vibrant, but I need to be able to change the levels of vibrancy. Uh, but it's designed around, you know, that wallpaper, which I find to be really, really nice. And uh, I think it looks clean. It needs a little bit of work, but I'm fine tuning it as I go. And it's nice to have things color coordinated. Like, look at that. That just, that's pretty awesome. You know what I mean? I have a lot more plans to do for this. Uh, I actually had one of the developers for Dank Material Shell, I think, mention that they like the fact of the desktop widgets. So that's nice. I don't know how they're going to like this, but hopefully they're going to like it just as much as I do. I've been playing a lot of Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition lately. Uh, fantastic game. So if I actually open up this... Oh, I wish I could color coordinate this. This would be great. But I can if I wanted to. I'll just have to show all palettes and then scroll down till I find something that you know fits so it's easy to color coordinate my my windows if i need to and the best part is uh yeah because i've got a transparent nautilus oh, that's it's not showing this but here's another thing i've added uh close windows new windows move to workspace you want this on a certain workspace click there and it basically just sends it to seven as you can see now we're on seven and that's pretty cool. I rebuilt the icon from scratch, which is nice because the new icon they have is complete and utter ass. I also rebuilt the icon for Music B. I actually kind of want to show you guys what that icon looks like. Um, because right now it's not letting me go where I need to go. 
and do what I need to do because yeah where's the music B icon music B there you are there so that's the music B icon uh, I built this from scratch using affinity designer and it's a PNG so scrolling is limited but yeah I thought that this honestly looked clean and really well done. It fits with the rest of my design here. I do have to redo the TeamSpeak icon, and I think as well as my package manager, UmbraCore. Uh, yeah, so right now it's not. Let me fix that. Let me fix that real quick. Let me just, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to do it or not. I mean, it added a little bit of orange to it, but not much. I think if I actually went to theme and colors and scrolled down. Like that. Go here. Go here. Yeah, no, I don't think it's actually going to do it probably have to open this back up again for it to yep well it's fine as long as the colors are nice and good like they are right here doesn't need to take over all of it from it so that's kind of cool uh the other thing about this is if you switch the wallpaper but you still want to keep the theme you have it right here and you're able to apply it so it automatically creates a theme out of everything so if you wanted to, you can go and change the wallpaper again. Let's say to the tiger, go into here and you extract the colors, it takes all the colors, you want another one. And now that color has its own theme. And I do have to do a little bit of changing to the themes. As you can see, they're a little bit out of the box, which is, you know, fine. But if you wanted to delete the color, you can. Uh, you could do whatever you really needed to for it, but I like the way that this is going so far and it makes me very very happy all right so that is it for right now um not much has been done i guess well a lot's been done because the background work on this is, that's needed is kind of crazy but still i'll see you guys in the next video i don't know if i'm gonna have a video for the next till monday or i don't know how long I'm with my kids for. It's one of those things that just dynamically shifts. But if I do make a video for tomorrow, uh, it will probably be on my laptop. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, help with the evil AI algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time.